What's going on guys? It's Eddie with DIY Basics. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over how to trace electrical wires with a multimeter. And the method I use is I use the continuity mode on the multimeter. So let's just assume that we're, for illustration purposes, we're in uh, box A. Let's just say this is like uh, on the first floor somewhere where the power is coming in. And we're upstairs in box B in one of the bedrooms. And we want to identify our power source wire inside of box B. And most of the time you'll have uh, two to three sets of wires. In this case, we have two sets of wires coming into the box. And we want to identify the power source. So, I mean, if you look inside the box, you can see which wires are together by identifying, you know, the jacket that's coming into the box. And then you'll see there's a set of wires attached to that. For those purposes, you can pretty much determine that these two sets of wires, this bunch is with this set and this these are with this set. But if you've identified that this is your hot coming in from the first box and you go to the second box, you open up the box, you're not necessarily going to know that the hot is this jacket or this jacket. And the way that I like to do it is I'll identify my power source by having the power on and I'll determine that this is my hot power coming in. Then I shut the power off for the purposes of using, using continuity tester. You have to have the power off. So that's very important. So once the power is off, I've determined uh, that these are my power leads. I take a connector for the purposes of this. I'm just using a connector, but you can also, uh, you can also twist the wires together. So you're going to twist your hot and your neutral together. All right. Now, when you go into box B, you're going to take your, your multimeter, you set it to the, uh, continuity mode. All right. And what you do is to confirm that you're in the right mode, you put the two prongs together and you'll hear a beep. That tells you that you're in that mode. So for the purposes of this illustration, what's going to happen is whenever we touch two wires together and they match these two wires, the tester will beep indicating that we've identified the two wires that we tied together in box A. So let's start here for, for illustration purposes. We'll assume that we don't know which one it is. Obviously, in this case, we know it's this one. But in the real world, these cables will be a floor apart from each other and we won't know. So obviously, we're looking for the black and the white. So we can start with one black wire and then go to each white one to determine if there's a connection. As you can see here, I'm touching the black. I tested one white with it. I tested another white with it and nothing. So now I'll go to my second black and then I'll test the first white with it and the second white. See, when I tested the second white, it beeps. That means that these two wires are the wires that I'm looking for, which tells me that this jacket coming into the box is the power source. Now I can go back to the other box. I can undo these, this connection here because we never want to have a, a hot and a neutral together that way. So we disconnect those wires and then we've identified our power and we can go ahead and uh, wire our, our box the, the way that uh, we desire. I hope the, this was short, but uh, I just wanted to provide a little trick on how to identify your sets of wires coming into boxes. Sometimes, uh, you know, you need to identify them, whether you're wiring three-way switches or whatever it might be, and you need to identify your power sources coming from either the, the the light or the fixture or the power source itself so you can place those wires on the proper terminals and uh, the easiest way is to shut off the power tie the wires that you're looking to identify together and then by way of elimination when you test all the wires in the uh, secondary box you'll be able to determine which wires uh, you're looking for once the uh, the meter beeps I hope this helped, and I'll see you guys on the next one.